welcome back okay so today i decided to create an eye look using the new colored rain juicy boost eyeshadow palette so yeah when i saw this palette i was like that's really cute i think the packaging probably got me more than anything because it's not like the shades that are in the palette are anything monumental or different or anything like that. It's not even as, how can I say, diverse of a palette that I like to have for a colorful palette, but I thought the shades were really pretty. I like the bright green background, and I really like the fact that because it's colored rains shadows that they are magnetic, you can just pop them out of here if you want and kind of play around with them with your other single shadows. But this is what the palette looks like. I'll give you a closer look. So there are only three shimmer shades in here. I'll go ahead and let you know a little bit more about the description on this palette. Everything else are mattes. This palette does have regular eyeshadows as well as pressed pigments, which personally I like because I like working with pressed pigments. I think the style of eye looks that I do work really well with pressed pigments so i really like that fact plus you know i'm always looking for color boldness brightness all that good stuff so yeah it's not my perfect color story but i think it does go with the theme of the palette the juicy boost okay and so let me just read a little bit of what it says about this palette. Now, this palette does retail for $52. It does come in two different sizes. It comes in this long flat lay type of a palette, which I prefer because, you know, I like to see all my shades when I'm using them in one shot. And it also comes in like a booklet form that has two different sides of shadows, which is really nice and compact. You could take it to travel with, or, you know, if you just want to concentrate on one side and then the other side, you can do that. So I think that was pretty neat that they came out with those two styles of palette i know with christie's palette that was my first time seeing that type of style the two-sided palette so i think it's really cool i wonder how many other brands are going to start doing that i don't prefer those but that was my first time seeing it so anywho let me give you a little bit more information about this palette while you take a look at it it says here this is the juicy boost press pigment flat lay palette the one that i got and it says here, the Juicy Boost Press Pigment and Shadow Palette is 18 shades of flavorful, bold, out of this world color. I don't know about that, but <laughs> it says create looks from spring to fall with vibrant, buttery, smooth mattes and blinding, high intensity reflect dazzers. <laughs> dazzers. Dazzlers. <laughs> don't worry, they're not glitter. Textures consist of three high intensely reflect dazzlers and 15 buttery smooth mattes net weight i don't know who i'm trying to fool okay <laughs> net weight is 18 shadows times 1.28 grams total weight 23 grams uh 0.81 us ounces cruelty free and vegan so that's just the basic information that they have here on the website regarding this palette for your information in case you're curious so i think what i'm going to do because obviously i've already done the look <laughs> doing the intro after is i'm going to go ahead and we'll jump into me creating this look and i'll just give you my thoughts on the shadows that i used as i'm using them what i will say is that the shimmers aren't my favorite while they're absolutely gorgeous you can see them on my lid the formula is not my favorite this pink one yeah i i almost i don't want to say i hate it but i don't like it it's absolutely beautiful but it's not a nice formula to me for the finger or the brush and i used it <laughs> with both and you guys know i hate using my finger but i did use my finger if you want to use that you have to use your finger period point blank the blue and this goldy shade here absolutely gorgeous i like them don't have any issues with them they are a little bit more textured than i would like so it would be best for you to use a glitter glue with those I'm trying to kind of do the glitter glue and tap type thing to get the most color payoff in my opinion this pink one though no absolutely not do not like it um as far as the mattes go 
the ones that I used, I didn't have any issues with them. As you can see, I basically did, you know, each color just right next to each other and gently blending them into each other. So I wasn't doing anything with a whole lot of blending and everything on my lid. So for pigment, as far as I'm concerned, I think the pigment is very, very nice. I have no complaints about that. So anywho, let's go ahead and jump into today's look. Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and get started. I am prepping my lids today with my e.l.f. putty eye primer. And to start out this look, I'm starting with this orange shade. It's called Orange Carrot. And I decided to just go ahead, take a small fluffy brush and just tap this in the inner corner, inner corner of my lid, just to get started. Next, I decided to go into Watermelon Detox absolutely gorgeous super bright pink and I'm just tapping that right next to that orange shade now with these being pigments um, I wanted to just kind of place them down as opposed to trying to blend them out today so that's what I'm doing just kind of placing them down and gently blending them into each other next I'm going into berry beet that's like a light purple shade and I'm just tapping that right next to the pink, as you can see. Right next to that, I'm going into Energy Boost, which is the light blue shade in the palette. And with these shades, they are like, you know, lighter colors. So I'm not expecting a humongous amount of, you know, boost of color because they are lighter shades. And I appreciate that because that's a little bit different. With this blue, you know, it's different than having a deep dark blue and a deep dark purple. But you can kind of blend to create different shades. So next I'm going into Kale Yeah. And I must admit, this isn't one of my favorite shades in the palette. Only because I don't really care for this color. It's like a really dark, dark green. Kind of like almost a black green type shade. And I'm just taking that, blending that next to that blue. And because I didn't want it to look so harsh, I went over it with a little bit of that blue just to kind of soften it up a bit and make it not so harsh. So of course I did a cut crease today. I used my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. And I'm just tapping that down and creating a pretty large cut crease for today, dragging it all the way out. Um, to you know basically my eyebrow and I'm just tapping that down to give me a nice even base and cleaning it up with a wet wipe to create the shape that I want so for my first shimmer I'm going into the gold which is lemon wheatgrass now this gold shade very very pretty absolutely gorgeous but like I said in the beginning it's definitely one that I would suggest using a glitter glue with because it does have some texture to it absolutely gorgeous shade but because I don't like using my fingers I'm just going in with my brush and tapping that down and as you can see it's very very pretty now the pink shade sweet ruby <laughs> I already expressed my feelings about this shimmer not my favorite it is a really flaky texture and I just don't care for it at all I did go ahead and use my finger because honestly I had no choice with this <laughs> if I wanted to put it on my lid. So I just used my finger to kind of smooth it out and blend it into that gold as much as I possibly could. And as you can see, the color is very, very pretty, but it's just not easy to use at all. So lastly, I'm going into the blue shade, which is called Blueberry Burst. And I'm using a brush once again to tap that right next to that pink and drag it out to the remaining portion of my cut crease. And um, I really didn't have any issues with it. Not a problem. I was able to use my brush and it is very, very pretty. Now for this look, I did go in with a super bold black wing. So I'm just using my Wet n Wild Black Liquid Liner and creating that bold wing for this look. I also decided to go in with one of my Profusion Bright Lights Neon Liners. This one is the bright pink one in the color Flash. And as you can see, I'm just carefully placing that right next to that black liner, just in between the liner and the cut crease, or you know where the cut crease shimmers start. 
And yeah, <laughs> this took me a little while, but I did condense it for you guys. So moving on to the face, I'm using my Milk Makeup. This is their Vegan Milk Moisturizer. I pulled this to use for my Shop My Stash this for the next couple of weeks. And I love it, you guys. I love this moisturizer. I knew I liked it from the sample I had, but I really, really like it. For primer, I'm using my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. And I'm using a flat foundation brush to place this down because, you know, having on nails, I didn't feel like digging my fingers into the primer. So I'm just using this brush to place it down. Now I'm using two foundations today. I've been using the Smith & Colt from my shop, my stash, but the color is a little bit lighter than I like. So I'm adding some of my Too Faced Born This Way. As you can see, it's just a little bit darker. But mixing those two shades together, I like the finish, you know, the final product of it. I actually could add a little bit more of the Born This Way to deepen it up a bit. But the Smith & Cole foundation, I really, really like it, you guys. And the combination of these two foundations together, really, really nice finish, nice coverage. It lasted all day for me, and <laughs> I like mixing these two together. So no complaints on that. For my concealer, I'm using my e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer, also chosen from my shop, my stash. And I'm just highlighting my usual areas. You guys know the drill under my eyes, around my mouth, forehead, and bridge of my nose. And I'm using one of my Shop Miss A sponges. This is damp, just to blend out those highlighted areas. I really like how this e.l.f. Camel Concealer um, is playing with this foundation they blend together really nice really seamless and um, I like the finish the finishes really comp complement each other nicely now for powder I am using my shop my stash powder today it's my pretty vulgar the powder room translucent setting powder I have not used this powder in so long you guys I mean a long time and this is a really nice powder it's fine and it's not super duper bright you know so it doesn't leave a huge cast and it really had my skin just looking like airbrushed and flawless i mean it looks really really nice you guys will be able to see once i'm done applying it but this powder is really nice i'm really glad that i pulled it for this week's shop my stash look at that just airbrushed nice Okay, to set the rest of my face, I'm using my Kiss New York Professional Matte Powder Foundation. This one I really, really like. It is a bomb setting powder. I use the shade Toffee Caramel, and as you can see, I'm just using a large brush to apply that to my face. For bronzer, I'm going in with one of my Revolution Glow Bronzers. This one is in the shade Dark. I do have one a little darker than this that I like to use for contour, really. But this one, oh my gosh, it's so, so nice. It's perfect for my skin tone. You can see there how it's just deepening me up, warming me up, <laughs> making me match my summer body <laughs> as you guys can see I've definitely been hanging out by the pool and on the boat and in the sun by the water so yeah I'm nice and toasty right now now I'm going to use my born to shine blush palette and this is from OPV it's the one that I got in my trend mood box of all black owned beauty brands y'all this blush palette is bomb do you see that so pretty I'm using the shade unstoppable and it's just this gorgeous corally pink shade it's so so pretty for highlighter I'm using my essence highlighter quad this is the pure nude sunlighter palette going in with one of the deeper highlighters as you can see nice and smooth very very pretty essence makes some really nice highlighters and they have a nice bronzer palette as well just touching a bit of that on my nose to add a bit of shine so these are the lashes for today you guys 
I will have everything listed down below for you guys just in case I don't mention it. I forgot to film me putting on my blue liner. I used my LA Girl Electric Liner. So pretty. And for lashes, I'm using my Maybelline Lash Discovery just on my lower lashes. You see how small the wand is? It's perfect for lower lashes. I really like it. Now for lips, I'm taking it way back. I haven't used my ColourPop BFF4 lip liner in quite a while. Used to use it all the time. And for lips, I'm going in with my DJ's Unique Boutique lipstick. This one is in the shade Blushing Bride. Absolutely perfect, perfect nude shade. You guys see how gorgeous that color is? So pretty. And I'm topping it off with a little bit of my Maybelline uh, Lifter Gloss. This one is in the shade Amber, and it fits nicely with this lip combo. To set this face in place, I'm using my Ciate London Everyday Vacay Spray. And this is the look, you guys. <laughs> um, I must say, I enjoyed creating this look. I love my Shop My Stash items for this week, you guys, I really do. As for the palette, I think it is nicely pigmented. I had no issues with the mattes. Other than that pink shimmer, I think that this is a really nice palette. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like, and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!